Once upon a time. Does it always have to be once upon a time? I was a fisherman. He was pulling in his nets. Is she a mermaid? No. Is she a selkie then? What's a selkie? She comes out of the sea, lives on land. You have given one of the best, most honest performances in your career, I think, with Undine. Oh, thank you, man. E, thank you, you. You are so welcome. Now, how did you get involved into making the film? Uh, Neil Jordan, the writer of the script and the director of the film, is a fellow countryman who is also one of our finest storytellers. And we had wanted to do something for about 10 years. And Neil wrote this script a year and a half ago, banged it out in three weeks, and he gave it to me and, and asked me what I thought of it. And I, I fell in love with it instantly. Um, Neil lives down there in, in this town where the film is shot, Castletown Bear, on the southwest tip of Ireland. And, um, and I knew that part of Ireland very well as well. And I loved it. So it was kind of a perfect storm, a confluence of a few factors that came together to make it a really, really cool experience, actually. <laughs> It was it was lovely. I mean, I didn't I didn't have to. For Alicia, who played Andine, she was the one that had to spend about a third of the film in the water. So I would just, I'd be I'd be sitting on the boat watching her really with a cup of tea in my hand and a and a nice packet of biscuits. I had an easy time of it. Um, the landscape itself can be quite foreboding. You know, it's quite it's quite barren and quite harsh and and unforgiving. It feels, but. At the same time, it's really emotional and, and very moving. Like the landscape itself is just very moving. It's very, very evocative, you know. It really is a magic, magic part of the world. I loved it, man. It was the wettest, it was the wettest summer in Ireland in about, I don't know what it was, maybe 30 years or something wow. like that. But, um, but I can't even remember a drop of rain. So, so much fun did I have doing the film. The setting itself seems to be a character in the film. You know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah. Like what you said, it's got this magical fairy tale qualities to it. Absolutely, and it's it's the kind of place. I mean, it's you know, it's Castletown Bear. I don't know what the population is, but it's a small enough town. It's a beautiful town. The people are great, but everybody know it's it's small. Everybody knows everybody. The whole population of the place might be three or four or five thousand people. Everyone knows everyone's business. There's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. And for a character like Syracuse, it was beautiful because he had lived within the community for a while and then that hadn't really worked out for him. So he had kind of withdrawn from it. So, you know, he had lived this life of isolation until, well, pretty early on in the film, this opening scene when he pulls this woman from the water in his net and then his life begins to take a turn for the more potentially optimistic. Right, as we learn more about this woman that Syracuse fishes out of water, we know more about his character, isn't it? Yeah, through her, absolutely. I mean, she begins to, through her presence in the, li in, in the lives of the people that she encounters, she begins to affect kind of great change. And sometimes people do need something that is out of the realms of their own experience or out of the realms of their own um, immediate reality to kind of jolt them further into a reality oh. that is that is that is uh that has possibly been there the whole time well you know? i love the movie again congratulations Thanks, it's man. about redemption love and magic so congratulations Thanks, that man. come visit us to palm springs very soon all right man someday I'll see you can you there. fish me out of here mr colin all right so you're not <laughs> hard to find manny it doesn't make sense none of it makes sense you're kind of my kind we don't belong together what are you doing I'm afraid, Father. Misery's easy. Happiness, you have to walk it. Get rid of her.